I think for me personally, uh, the Chinese people are completely separate from the CCP. My dad actually uh, was from Yugoslavia, which was also a former, a former communist government. So I know that the Communist Party of, of China does not represent really what the Chinese people really feel or who they are. And I also understand that China is one of the oldest cultures and one of the most respected and, and influential cultures in the entire world. And the CCP wants to completely discount all of that. So guys, you, you listened to uh, Mario. Uh, he said the distinction, distinction is very clear. Like the CCP does not represent Chinese people, and, and most importantly, CCP is the enemy of Chinese people because they've ins uh, enslaving the Chinese people for over 70 years, and also they're here. So uh, you talk a little bit about uh, a fentanyl issue here. So uh, how do you feel when CCP unleash this deadly, the most deadly drug um, we've ever seen uh, across the border to our American soil, and also uh, kill? It's still killing 300 young American people per day. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's one of the biggest issues of my generation's time, um, and also, yeah, I definitely want to uh, distinguish that. You know, I think the CCP is holding the Chinese people hostage, and they're also waging a war on the American people as well. Because really, what they're trying to do is bring down uh, through chaos or disorder. And I just learned recently about the 13579 plan. And you know specifically how they're how they're trying to enact that through the fentanyl crisis that's going on in the border right now. My family is from a border town, Douglas, Arizona. I lived on the border for six years of my life. Um, I've also lived in Tucson, Arizona, Southern Arizona, which is all very heavily impacted by um, you know illegal uh, drug trafficking from Mexico. And uh, over the past 10, 15 years, you know fentanyl has becoming more and more of an issue. With trace amounts getting into not just you know, fentanyl itself, but into other drugs, uh, trace amounts in cocaine, trace amounts in marijuana. And it's actually the number one killer of people that are my age. Um, and I know that it's being funded, it's being supplied all from China. And it's, it's one of those things where we have to ask ourselves why as Americans, why are our politicians, especially our local politicians down on the border, why are they not actually standing up to this?